One of the cool things that War Thunder does every once in a while is they put out a dev blog describing what they fix or change within the game. And in this It's Fixed series, number 68, they've actually changed some good things and they've also changed some bad things. Now, with the good things, like the AI SPA on ARB maps have been changed to where they just don't randomly shoot you down, which is a positive, but they have nerfed a whole entire game mode whenever it comes to RP gains, and that is Simulator. So if you've ever played Simulator before, you know exactly how the mode plays out. Majority of people like to PVE mode in it, and then they like to just go bomb bases or bomb the airfield or rocket the airfield, and they get a ton of RP within the mode. So it's really good for a mode to grind out like your modules and as well as just general RP for your fighters and jets and all that sort of stuff. But at the same time, it has been abused, and now finally they have changed it. So if you like these types of videos, remember to like and sub to the channel. We're still trying to hit 5,000 subscribers by Christmas, and with the help from you guys, we definitely can do that. So now on to the video. So one of the biggest things plug in simulator for a very long while now has actually been bought so if you didn't know people are now botting within simulator to get a ton of easy rp so simulator setting up your lobbies has been a very very common thing within the last probably like five years of war thunder where sometimes you'll get your friends to hop on they would log in they would you know join on the enemy team for simulator and what you would do is you just wouldn't shoot each other and you just go bomb bases or rocket bases all that sort of stuff now the thing within the newest rendition of this is especially on some of the sim matches now there's actually just straight up bot so there's people who are using bot accounts to then fly out get easy kills and then once they get 3,000 score which was the maximum before this change came into effect that normally you should be able to get they would just go to the runway and because they didn't really have to do anything else they would just afk and they would spin in a circle for about three hours trying to get the most amount of rp and sl that they can get and this was a very very in in quotation marks toxic way to play the game according to gaijin just because they feel like it insulted players which was a uh, pretty funny to actually see but the thing about it is is that if you got into one of these lobbies and to be honest it was very very common to actually get into one of these lobbies because the last like four or five days that i've been playing simulator trying to finish out some of the jets that i wanted to finish that are kind of terrible within arb there have just been match after match of either like chinese bots like literal just people talking in chinese trying to figure out how to manipulate the game that they're in you know and the, and the really cool thing about having a phone with the google translator on it is is i can go and see what they're seeing in chat and majority of the time they're talking about team killing people because they're ruining their strategy or you know that they want to leave this game because you know it's, it's it's happening to them where they can't get their strategy running but what they like to do is they like to have you know their bot accounts on enemy team they spawn them out probably like 11 times or so just so they can get the maximum of rp and then they basically just afk and that's what i've been noticing like that is a huge thing within simulator is it is it easy to get rp and simulator back in before the change yes but the thing about it is it was way too easy to where then people you know were using probably stolen accounts sold accounts you know new accounts with just a single premium on it as you can see from the meme that i made in the beginning of this video those are some of the stats that people have within a simulator right now just because they're able to you know buy and you know get a ton of dust because you know it's easy to do overall i'm not really happy with the simulator change as of now i wish they would have went in a different light with it because right now you really cannot earn any rp at all like for about an hour of playing simulator just doing what i normally did you know go bomb go shoot down some you know ais you know if i see an enemy go shoot him down i was getting around thirty thousand rp within an hour and on the old system by doing the same exact thing i was able to net probably a hundred thousand per hour if i was doing it very efficiently and you know just going and bombing and you know rocking in the airfield like crazy but playing like you're supposed to play i'd probably get around probably like 60 thousand 70 thousand per match or per per hour just just depending on you know how the match was going but ever since that has kind of changed it's kind of like impossible to actually get get the value out of playing uh simulator now it's probably better off to just go to rb and play your stock jets there because at least now you can just keep on dying over and over and probably the amount of time you put into it would be better than simulator now i think there are solutions to this and i don't think the solutions are actually like cost effective to actually do uh, so these are probably useless solutions but there's there's games like escape from tarkov which have had insane body problems within like its flea market and the thing about simulator is is like i would say 80 percent of the time you're literally just taking off flying somewhere etc and during those times what they could do especially if they could have a thing that kind of detects uh, if someone is you know pressing the same key over and over or just you know flying in a circle or maybe here's here's even a better one they could do so it just takes your position on the map and if it sees that you've not moved within like a kilometer of that position 
position in the last like 10 minutes it pops up a little thing that checks to see if you're still there like that'd be extremely easy to do and then you could also make it where it's a little capture thing it's like you'd have to you know click on the right aircraft or click on you know put put like a helicopter an aircraft symbol and a naval symbol and you know get people to click on it and you know, put put some little artifacting in it so you know bot programs just can't you know just automatically detect which one's which but yeah i think that's what they could do about it do i think they'll probably do no not really because it's really not worth it for the amount of people who do play simulator and the other thing is is like there needs to be a better way to just report these types of players because the thing about reporting within war thunder is, is that a human actually has to take over and see if this person is, is breaking the rules and the problem about that is, is well for one there's not really any game masters that i can think of right now that play simulator that i've ever seen play simulator and it's the same thing for naval if you want to check out a video that i did on this pretty much same issue with war thunder botting check out this one in you know time card up above right now it's where you know the moffats and as well as you know simulator botting was still prevalent back then and, and the thing is, is that you know humans are not going to be able to fix this issue like the, the way that they fixed it now fixes the body well it really doesn't even fix the botting issue now because less people are going to play simulators so less people are going to see these people just straight up botting and then less people are going to be able to report them and maybe get them banned but there needs to be a better way there there really does because there's one thing i do not want to see i do not want to see you know people getting banned and they didn't really mean to do what they was doing so like for example right now if you get into one of these lobbies and then you accidentally start you know killing the ai and you don't really know what's happening and you get banned for it that would be terrible but at the same time these people who are you know 3,000 deaths in simulator and like 10 kills need to be banned their accounts need to be gone and then make simulator great again i guess is what we should say about this but yeah i very much enjoy simulator just because i don't enjoy arb whenever it comes to you know higher tier planes just because the missile meta is really really bad especially on stuff like the a10 like the su-25 and those planes around that br just get owned by those planes so i'm not really a big fan of playing that so yeah uh i don't really know where to really go with this video after this like it's it's really sad that simulator has now turned into what it is now and hopefully it can be fixed in the future so I hope everyone has a wonderful day and i'll see you guys in the next war thunder video